Mexicanos at the moment on some uni rap system for mounting okay. that we used. Okay. And they have uh, angled peaks and and the rats are bolted onto that and then the pans are bolted onto the racking and that. So that just gets bolted onto the roof rafters? The rat goes into the rafters. Yeah. Right. Outside in a conduit through the wall here, through this trunking, down, and they feed, they, they come into here through this wire right. and feed a charge controller. It's quite warm when it's supposed to be because what happens is here that we have um, 48 volts coming down from the roof into this unit. And this is right now it's 17 amps. Yeah. And the voltage is, um, there's a little dot here that shows when it gives the amp setting, and then it's voltage, 30.7 volts, 15 amps are coming down, this little light shows it's about charging, okay, which means you've been using power, when the batteries are full it goes into the acceptance stage and then into the flow stage, now you see it's just starting to flash there now, when the voltage gets to a certain level, this will stay to the panels on the roof. Oh, there, we got enough juice energy. Right. And this, it'll actually stop sending energy down. Yes, and also this heat sink here will diffuse any excess, any energy coming down into heat. Right. Okay, and then that now charge controller feeds down through the conduit there and into the batteries. So this stops the batteries from being overcharged. That's right. really what this does. And it also takes a higher voltage and reduces it to a lower voltage because it's a 12 volt system. So this, this black bit here yeah, is basically like sink. a little heater. Heat sink, yeah. Okay. Now what you can do, some people will take, um, some charge controllers have, you can connect a wire and send the extra energy to a heating element in the hot water tank. Uh, okay, okay right. so that you use it. So what's that, now this takes like a, a low, this takes a current and it's Reduces, it reduces the voltage but increases the current. It's called a multi-point power tracking charge controller. Wow. All charge controllers don't do that. They have pulse width modulation controllers that just waste any excess voltage. But this so turns the excess multi-point power tracking, MPPT. And that then goes down to these batteries in here. There are two 12 volts. So the batteries made by Trojan. And um, there are six volt cells, two in series, to give you a 12 volt battery bank, 410 amp hours. Okay, each battery is 410 amp hours, so when you put the two of two six volts together, you then get a 12, you get 12 volts, right. the same amp hours. Now how that, and sometimes if you put batteries in parallel, you keep the voltage, but then you double the capacity. And you know, those, that 12 volt of, um, battery bank then powers this inverter through a, a switch. This is what I call a DC disconnect, which is what you would use on a boat. And um, so we just have that there for safety. If you ever want to shut the system down, you can turn the batteries off. Okay. okay? So the, the batteries feed through this to the inverter. Now this inverter is a little thousand watts and tracks, adequate for what load we expect to have there. Feeding through an existing circuit, which we isolated into a transfer switch, a manual transfer switch. So that must be down one pole of the transfer switch. If you wanted to shut it down for some reason then you could turn this off, but then you wouldn't have any power in here at all. So there's but that button power then? Right, if you want to go to light and power, you go to the transfer switch and you switch over on that. To so the two stage thing to actually Correct. not run off the solar. Yeah. So right. I'll show you now, let's go inside here and I'll show you the, um, where we put the transfer 